This episode of BFC TV is brought to you by Polaroid. Every now and then, a film drops from the skies and directly into 855 Grand Street, Brooklyn, New York, 11211. A film with mysterious origins that expired in the 90s or whatever. Well, it happened again. Today, we're talking about Seagull Color IR100, a C41 color film from Shanghai that BFC just reeled in and is ready to bring back to life by curious shooters everywhere. Let's do it. Welcome to BFC TV. My name is Ben, and today we're talking Siegel Color IR100. What is this stuff? Well, it's kind of hard to say. Unlike our deep dive into Lucky Color 100, a similar Chinese expired stock, there's really not that much information out there about IR100. What we were able to ascertain is that this film was produced by Shanghai Siegel Camera, using the same naming convention as Brooklyn Film Camera. This company is the oldest camera manufacturer in China, somewhat known globally for a time for their Leica replicas and their long-running TLR series, which they unthinkably are still producing in the form of the CN9S, a digital TLR that takes incredibly massive 10 megapixel photos. So at some point in the company's guarded history, they produced film for their cameras as well, likely in one of the numerous government-owned facilities. Also, one more fun fact, because I'm kind of a fun fact guy, Siegel still releases two film stocks in 2023. Siegel 100 and 400 films, which are manufactured by Harman Technologies, AKA Ilford. Very strange, but that's life in the Chinese film market, apparently. So let's talk about this IR100 film and what it looks like. I can tell you one thing right off the bat, IR in this case does not mean infrared. Perhaps it means imperfect and radioactive because there's no beating around the George H.W. Bush on this one. This film is 35 years old and it shows. BFC frequenter and area hero, Peter Laughlin, undertook the challenge of prying what he could out of the film and his experiments were oddly encouraging. Though this film exhibits no realism in color rendition, it does have an almost ambro type aesthetic to it, making it an interesting use case for abstract imaging or a simulation of the 1800s. Chemical spots appear here and there, as to be expected from a film this old, but grain is surprisingly not out of control, and in overexposing shots by two stops, it appears to be a magical sweet spot for getting something truly unique out of this old dog. He attempted further pushing, but it seems like two stops of overexposure retains the most information. So gee, thank you, Peter. Because this film gives super wonky results and it's more of an experimental film for creative applications, we're selling it for the user-friendly price of 475. You're not getting color film for 475 roll anywhere else, not even for film that expired in 1950. So we encourage any and all to try this stuff, share your results with us, and make some magic, please. Thank you for watching BFC TV. Keep it locked for more treats from the wide world of analog. Bye.